We're with Brandon McManus, number two for the Indianapolis Colts. Brandon, tonight you had a very impressive performance. You kicked a lot of balls out of the end zone, as well as that 50-yard field goal. Just describe your performance for me. It was good. You know, I got a chance. You know, we played on uh, national TV today. I got a chance to start the opening kickoff, which was, you know, was a big boost for me. I was excited to play in front of my family who came to the game in front of the national audience, and you know, I was able to hit that first kickoff off the uh, crossbar, which was pretty cool. But um, you know, it put, me, put me under a little pressure. First NFL field goal is 50-yarder, but you know, I like that, and uh, you know, I thought I had a very good performance today. Well, at Temple, you did a lot. You kicked off, you punted, and you kicked field goals as well. It looks like here that you're just doing a lot of kickoff specialty work, kicking off the start of the game. I saw you in practice. You hit that. It looked like it was a 70-yard field goal when you were kicking off. Is that something you think you can make this team just based off the kickoff since Adam doesn't do it anymore? You know, I'm hoping any way that I can make this team, I'm going to try and do it. I'm going to work hard, and whether it's only kicking off, whether it's kicking off end field goals, kicking off punting field goals, whatever I can do to make this team, you know, help better this team and uh, make me more valuable, I think will be uh, will get me on this team the most. When you signed with the Colts, you were in studio with us, and we talked about how there's a lot of veteran presence on this team with Adam and Pat, and you said you're going to bring a notebook down and just listen to everything they said. What have you learned from those two guys so far? Uh, every time I go out there for a field goal, you know, Pat's always talking to me. He knows that I have a strong leg, and he's just trying to keep me focused on what I have to do. He's seen me during practice and helped me along. Or Adam, you know, when we're on the sideline watching film, always helps me out, decipher, you know, if I miss a kick, what we're doing wrong. So, you know, they're just, just trying to get me acclimated to, you know, the new league that I'm playing in and uh, keep me uh, focused and uh, handle the pressure. What's been the toughest part of the transition from the college game to the NFL? Whew, uh, after my field goal, I had a kickoff and I uh, some guy came at me and I tried to throw my shoulder into him and uh, they're a lot bigger and a lot faster and he uh, put me on my butt pretty pretty hard. So uh, I think just the speed and when I played Buffalo last week on that kickoff return, I was the fastest man I ever saw on a football field. So just the speed and the size of the people I think are uh, you know the two most impressive things I've seen that uh, were different from college. Before we let you run, i got to ask you about the Owls. New era with Matt Rule. I'm sure you still follow them. Yeah. That's a big game. Uh, Notre Dame coming up August 31st. Are you excited to see your alma mater kick off in South Bend? Absolutely. You know, I'm Hopefully I'll be able to take a trip up there. It's not far from here in Indiana, so hopefully uh, I have plans to go up there and uh, hopefully be on the sidelines. I'm a little jealous that you know I can't be kicking in that big stadium, but you know I'm excited for uh, the young guys that are coming in. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Zach.